Norwalk police are investigating a home invasion that happened over the weekend. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Ashley Kett. Hello, good evening. I'm Bob Clausen. Imagine the terror. One minute you're sound asleep, the next you wake up to a man in your room pointing a gun at you. And KRK Force Caitlin Reardon is in the Kingwood neighborhood where this all happened. Caitlin. Well, the guy, guys, the news is obviously surprising to the folks who live out here on Cavanaugh Place who say that this community is normally pretty safe, so now they're taking a more cautious approach to the day-to-day. -day. That is very scary. Jessica Halsey says it was disturbing to find out that an elderly couple who lives near her woke up over the weekend to find a man in their bedroom with a gun. Oh, well, I thought, oh my God, I leave my windows open sometimes at night. One of the victims told police around 4 o'clock in the morning she woke up and saw a man in front of her holding a handgun. According to the police report, the suspect told the couple he didn't want to hurt them. He just needed money because his mother died. They gave him $90 in cash and he left, but not without leaving the neighborhood shaken up. My mother is 70 and you know, if she wasn't, if I wasn't here and she was alone, you know, what would happen? Halsey says usually nothing serious happens in the quiet neighborhood. Either 2012 or 2013, we did have like some joyriders, like people just stealing cars and, and driving around the neighborhood. But um, that nothing that I can recall that was as, as bad as like somebody actually getting into somebody's house. Other neighbors say after this, they plan to install security systems and keep each other informed about what's going on. We all know each other, you know, we want to be supportive and just, you know, when something like this happens, I want to help out. Now, thankfully, no one was hurt here in this incident, thank goodness, but police haven't made any arrests, so of course, if you know anything about what happened or you have any information, you're asked to contact Little Rock Police. Reporting live in Little Rock tonight, I'm Caitlin Reardon, KRK4 News.